QA Madness. How to set up automated testing. Test automation for beginners. Unlike manual testing, automation implies the usage of special software for test design and execution. Automation helps to speed up the QA process, covering more areas in less time. In this video, you will find out how to set up an effective automated testing process for a software product. The main goal of automated testing is to ensure the high quality of software and user satisfaction. It also aims to minimize testing time and human effort, increasing the efficiency of QA activities while reducing their cost. A QA engineer can achieve these goals by focusing on the automation objectives. Number 1. Enhancing software quality after each iteration. Number 2. Improving software stability and reliability. Number 3. Creating tests that are easy to run and maintain. Number 4. Expanding test coverage. Number 5. Boosting team effectiveness and motivation. Take one more look at the screen and you'll see that objectives are also the key benefits smart automation brings. Now, let's break down the test automation process into smaller steps. First, you need to define the test automation scope. Next, you select testing tools. Then, you proceed to test planning, designing, and development. After that comes text execution. Finally, you work on test suite maintenance to keep the scripts efficient in other words, relevant and up-to-date. It makes sense to automate tests that are frequently repeated. As a rule, such tests cover high-risk areas and business-critical functionality. It is also a good idea to automate tests that are difficult to run manually or are time-consuming if run manually. For example, such scenarios can involve large datasets or require a checkup in multiple systems. Remember that automation is suitable only for stable functionality and tests with clear pass or fail results. Meanwhile, some test cases are not suitable for automation, including tests that will be executed once, tests based on visual perception, tests without evident pass fail results, anti automation features like CAPTCHA raw and unstable functionality, test cases for the functionality with changing requirements, and newly designed test cases that haven't been executed manually yet. Automating these things can take a lot of time, and the results you'll get won't be accurate. After you define the test scope, you'll need to select automation tools. There are three key criteria to keep in mind. Firstly, consider tech stack, the technology software is built on, requirements of software under test, and programming languages you know. Secondly, pay attention to the tool features, operating systems, platforms, environments, and frameworks supported by a tool, types of testing it can run, and ease of use. Finally, don't forget about your budget. You can choose between an open source or a paid option, a development or runtime license. Start your search with popular tools for automated testing, like Selenium, Appium, Catalan, Ranarex, they are highly functional and come with good support. At this stage, a testing team is to finalize the list of tests that will be automated. Always use a manual test suite as the basis. As for the test scripts, you can write them from scratch, look for previously used scripts to apply with some slight modifications, or choose scriptless tools that don't require coding skills. When is the best time to start testing? It depends on a software development lifecycle model a company uses. A proactive approach works best for agile models. It initiates the testing at the early stages. A reactive approach is a better solution for traditional models. In this case, testing starts after the coding is completed. Test suite maintenance helps to ensure the effectiveness of automation scripts. With time, some of those scripts will probably become outdated. As developers add new features, automation QA specialists need to write new test scripts to check them. So first and foremost, categorize the tests according to their purpose or another preferred parameter. It will allow finding relevant cases quickly and easily in the future. Don't forget to categorize new cases as you add them. Review and clear up the scripts regularly. Some of them are not meant to last forever, and that is okay. Address product requirements to decide whether old cases are still efficient and relevant. Automated testing can be a real-time saver. It can facilitate the QA process and boost the team's productivity. 
Now you know how to set up test automation correctly and can enjoy all these benefits. Thank you for watching the video and come back for more.